Missouri Outline, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Missouri's booming automotive industry took yet another step forward last week when General Motors announced that it will be adding a third shift and 750 new workers at its assembly plant in Wentzville. This latest hiring announcement comes on the heels of Missouri's August 2014 jobs report, which showed that the unemployment rate in Missouri dropped two-tenths of a point last month to 6.3%. Another recently released analysis of Missouri's labor force found that a full 17% of all job openings from February to July 2014 were STEM-related occupations. In this week's tech news, Missouri organization Digital Sandbox KC last week celebrated a relaunch after nearly two years of helping advance entrepreneurship in this state. In its first two years, the organization, which is supported by the Missouri Technology Corporation, worked with more than 200 entrepreneurs and early stage companies in the KC metro area to help create more than 135 net new jobs. Two Missouri companies were recently recognized among the nation's top 100 startup companies in 2014 by Impact Showcase. Columbia-based Influence and Company and Kansas City-based Brightergy represented the Show Me State on the list. And St. Charles sure does help Missouri feel like home. Last week, the city earned the number 47 spot on 24-7 Wall Street's list of America's 50 best cities to live. And as we head into fall, we wanted to give you just a look at some of the events happening throughout Missouri. From Oktoberfest events in St. Charles and Lee's Summit to the celebration of nations in Rolla, you can find a full list of 2014 fall festivals at visitmo.com. For the full news coverage, visit the Missouri Outline webpage. And that's what's going on in this week's development news.